What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again back with a banger today, guys, on another collection video. Y'all was asking for it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to y'all right now off the rip, man. These are my top 10 pistols, handguns, that is, because I'm not gonna put any AR pistols in here, handguns in my collection. Let's get to it. Coming in at number 10, guys, we have the Arc Division 19 Reactor C. Now, this is a Glock 19 from Arc Division with a integrated comp on the barrel. Now, as you guys can see, there is no optic right here because currently I'm doing a video with my Glock 19 that I needed the optic on there, so I took it off of here to run that, but I plan on putting that optic back on here, and I've been really putting this through the ringer. You guys should be seeing a review on this gun very, very soon on this channel. Well, uh, updated review, because we did an initial one, but we didn't do an updated one. The comp barrel, the Glock 19, fabulous. And I even think about down the road getting another frame, so I have a designated frame for this gun alongside with my Glock 19, because currently I don't have one. I'm just gonna be honest. Sucks, but yes. But Arc Division's Reactor 19C, phenomenal piece of equipment. Shoots extremely flat, especially for someone who wants to carry a 19, you know, Glock 19 in general type of size pistol and then add a little bit of reduction to it. Maybe some people don't need it, but why not if you're able to do so, you feel me? So at the end of the day, fabulous construction right here. And uh, I'm looking forward to giving you guys that thousand round review. And this is definitely one in my collection that I think could go up as I get more and more familiar with the firearm. Coming in at number nine, we have the Springfield Armory. This is the range officer, or I always say it wrong, my bad. This is the R range officer target. And this is a 1911 and 45 ACP. As you guys can see, this is an old school looking Springfield Army. Now it's not extremely old school, but they wanted to give you that organic, you know, original type of mil spec 1911 that looks as if it's from the World War II, of course. Now, it's kind of dusty, you ain't gonna lie. But this thing shoots extremely, extremely flat. And I have not even did a review on this. I actually owned this gun for quite some time and I've never really shown you guys how this bad boy shoots. Forgive me, I need to do it, and I will do it more likely sooner than later at the end of the day, but this gun was actually discontinued, and they've since then done their Garrisons, their Ronins, of course their Prodigy DS version of the double stack nine millimeter. This is of course, I said 45, but they've done so many newer versions of their 1911s, but this one, I don't know why they stopped it. Maybe this, they wanted to upgrade it. I don't know. This, this thing shot amazing as is, and I'll just have to show you how it shoots amazing in the near future. You got the wood paneling on the grips. And back when I got this, it was, was extremely affordable. Not to say they're not affordable now, but 1911s are pretty hot right now as far as price goes and just availability. You got the bull barrel. You got a lot of this very nice stuff about this gun overall. And with that being said, it's gonna be a gun that I will not get rid of because it's no longer able to be purchased. Coming in at number eight, we have the Shadow Systems MR920. Now, I was thinking about whether or not just to put all the Glock 19 type of clones and everything in one, but I said, nah, I end up doing a disservice at the end of the day. I've been shooting this bad boy. You guys can see there is the uh, Shadow Systems comp. That kind of makes it now like a Glock 17 almost size. This thing shoots extremely flat. There's definitely been some hiccups with this bad boy with light primer strikes and just some failures here and there, but there is a break-in period at the same time when it comes to the shadow system. I think though, this is a very nice Gucci Glock. There's some other Gucci Glocks out there, of course. The Arc Division could also be called that, but this is a full pistol that you get, not just an upper slide or anything. You get the full entire frame, upper and all the above when it comes to that. There's different versions, of course, and I love this one, and this is potentially something that, you know, I can see myself carrying. I, I carry my Arc Division, my Glock 19, and these. I, I kind of mess around with them as well. And I got other guns that we'll talk about later that I carry as well. I, I carry a lot of different weapons depending on the clothing I'm wearing and the environment. Just uh, for comfortability is one of the main things when it comes to me. But the Shadow System, definitely dope. Been testing out this uh, Siley, and uh, you'll see, you know, see something on that very soon as well. Coming in at number seven, we have the Chiapa Rhino 40DS. Now the Chiapa 40DS, you got 50DS, 60DS. I mean, this bad boy right here was my first ever revolver that I purchased. And you guys can see, obviously, don't focus on me, focus on it. Yes, it's a different, it's a, diff, it's a different beast, okay? Striker fired revolver, by the way, not hammer fired. Striker fired has a very light 
trigger pull, which I really did like a lot as well. There's different versions, I said, bigger rails and all that. Um, you got some attachments you can add here. You can add this little sleeve that will allow you to run an optic. I really, really love this gun. And I'm not gonna lie, like I got this gun when it was extremely, like it was cheap. Not like super cheap, but cheaper than what, like these go for stupid money now. Um, I don't know why, but hey, it is what it is. One of the things that I kind of hate myself about is I'm able to get, you're able to get um, this cylinder, a nine millimeter cylinder, which I need to look into because you can just easily send it in to get an interchangeable system that will allow you just to change this going back and forth from 38 special slash 357 to nine millimeter. So this barrel, I guess, and, and you know, a 357 barrel, y'all could tell me more than I, than I could tell y'all, but you can, I guess, shoot nine millimeter out of that type of barrel because all you have to do is switch the cylinder and it works. But hey, with that being said, the Chiapa, definitely one of my favorites on this list. Coming in at number six, we have the P320 X Carry Legion. Now you guys can see it's a little bit different than how it initially came. We got the, of course, we have the Icarus SOCOM carry module. Now, uh, I was wanting to try something different else. You know, I do like the X carry frame in general, the integrated tungsten weights that, you know, add on that weight. It helps it shoot flatter at the end of the day. But I wanted to try different frames once I found out more about, you know, how the FCU of the whole entire pistol is. I, I love it. It's very fun that you can just interchange things. But at the same time, I'm like, well, now that I got this and I have my old, uh, the, the the legion version right i think i'm gonna get another fcu and another slide and this have a whole another p320 you know it just it, it's it's only right this one is fabulous it feels great it feels amazing and this gun will definitely be getting updated for you guys very soon my plan is to do a year update on this weapon because this right here was my first gun that kind of made me realize like yo start doing firearm content hop into the 2a community you got guns you like guns you like reviewing stuff already why won't you review guns as well this is my gun when it comes to sneakers the jordan 4 toro bravo was my shoe this p320 x carry legion was my gun so stay tuned you'll be seeing way more of this very soon coming in at number five we have the smith and wesson model 19. now i'm not the best shot when it comes to these type of revolvers, these are them big boy revolvers. When I say big boy, I mean, this is like the, the overall spring and the overall trigger. Like this is what a revolver is. If you type in revolver dictionary and you get a picture, like you might get a Model 19. This is this, this is it, you feel me? Um, this has been the firearm for majority of the police around the whole entire world. It has an incredible history of reliability. One of the best revolvers, in my opinion, out there. I mean, you got your Colt Pythons and all that too, but this was probably one of my favorite like like you know there's been some purchases i've made that'd be like damn i didn't need that or damn i could have waited or whatever this is a gun i got and went home and was really really happy about you feel me i love this gun um classic classic gun at the end of the day uh classic company and i had to put this one on the list beautiful 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 firearm and uh need i say more model 19. i don't think i have to say anything else about this bad boy this is a beautiful beautiful gun Coming in at number four, we have the Walter PDP Pro SD. Now this is a gun that I'm finishing up my thousand round review on, so you'll see that very soon. This gun is probably the biggest gun that surprised me this entire year, uh, just about how incredible it shot, how great it feels in hand, the, the, the reliability of I've heard about Walter at the end of the day, Walter, 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 and um, I, I finally, finally felt it, you feel me? And you'll be seeing some more things down the pipeline, something coming very soon that I'm looking forward to testing out. But man, out the box, what you get, pound for pound, all the guns out there right now, the Walther is phenomenal. I mean, the, the, the PDP Pro specifically, you get the dynamic trigger, the, the, I mean, maybe the regular ones come with the hard case box maybe, but I mean, everything, the, the Magwell, the 18 round, you know, metal magazines from Italy, was it Magtech? Metgar is the company, Metgar. Metgar makes the PDP Pro SD as well as the Beretta M9A4, maybe even other Berettas, but I know specifically they make some phenomenal magazines. I even think they might make some of the P320s, correct me if I'm wrong, but they make some of the best 
magazines on the market when it comes to handguns. With that being said though, love this gun. Um, you're gonna see way more of it. You're gonna see me, way more of me and Walter, like phenomenal company, uh, breakthrough company on my channel. Like coming into this, you know, uh, salutes. I love my SIGs, I love my, my, my Springfields, my, my, my Daniel Defenses, all those people, I love them, salutes. I heard about Walter, seen Walter, knew about Walter, James Bond, of course. But once I when I put when I when I first got my hands on it, I became James Bond, bro. It is what it is. Before we get to the top three, I got to give some honorable mentions. First things first, the Glock 19. Okay, salutes to the Glock 19. All right, salutes. Glock 19, uh, definitely one of my favorite guns in my collection. You feel me? But it's just what it is. It's a boring gun. The Glock 19 is a boring gun. But if this was a top ten most reliable pistol, reliable gun, it'd definitely be probably top five, top three. But it is a boring gun. It's, I mean, you just get a big block. You get a, a block, a block of a, a gun. Okay, so it's nice. It's great. Um, lacking features, but it 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 does what it's supposed to do. They don't care about all the bells and whistles. They just want a gun that's going to work when it, when it comes time to shoot. So Glock, um, you know, they they do what they do. I don't know if I even had a damn failure to feed with this gun. But phenomenal gun. Nothing wrong with Glock whatsoever. But it's just like a Lego. You feel me? Next up, the Hellcat. Hellcat, love it. Phenomenal. Um, this is my go-to carry gun at the end of the day. You guys know that. I've talked great about it. Um, I love it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Threaded barrel. Still have not been able to get that to uh, shoot correctly. But I do have a Nelson booster. So maybe we can start getting some actual footage of that. But phenomenal gun. I uh, like it a lot, but I, I, don't, I think I would, if I was gonna put like in my collection, I don't even own the Echelon anymore, but if I did own the Echelon, I'd probably put the Echelon above this. It's a great gun, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It's just not my favorite gun. That's just my, this is my top 10 favorites at the end of the day, you feel me? Next we have, of course, the X Macro, the P365X Macro. I don't, I, I ain't gonna cap, the reason why I don't have it in my hand right now is because I don't know where it's at. <laughs> It's like, and I didn't lose it, but I think it's like put up somewhere in one of my boxes or something like that. I don't have it within reach, but X Macro, and you're gonna see another video of that soon. So that's gonna be coming back very soon on the X Macro. Stay tuned because that's a very important gun that I wanna give it more of a chance to. Like, I don't feel like I've given it enough chance to prove itself on this channel and to me as a full-time go-all carry gun. So the Macro will return, just like Thanos, you feel me? And last but not least, the Walther PDP Max, the polymer. We did a video on it. It dropped. We're going to be doing a follow up on that very soon. Love that gun. Um, great gun in the collection. Full size, big boy gun that I would love to maybe one day take the competition with me. So salutes. And that's the reason why I got to put it in the honorable mention. But it's a fairly new gun that I got to give more time and get acquainted with at the end of the day. You feel me? Coming in at number three, you have the Springfield Armory Prodigy DS. Now, I had a lot of trouble with this gun. You guys know that. And this is another gun that like it's been on my to do planning of c content, a follow up on on this bad boy. I had trouble, you know, terrible trouble with this gun when I first got it. I uh, had to send it in to Springfield. They took care of me. They fixed it. And it's 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 amazing now. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, I love this gun. You know, I love it. Double stack 1911, less than 30 rounds. Uh, YouTube, no hair triggers on any of these uh, guns, by the way salutes but um i'm so happy springfield brought this one to the forefront because i believe in my opinion they make great 1911s do they make the best in the world no but they make good ones okay they make good ones good ones enough that they could provide a, an affordable um 2011 to the market and when i say affordable when this gun came out really it was only like a staccato atlas and other companies that were charging like three four five thousand dollars for a 2011 they came through with what i think fifteen hundred dollars of for 2011 which was never like really not even heard of at the time and bam stupid and since then you've seen other companies follow trying to compete now at that price and what you get at that price you get a phenomenal gun at the end of the day like i stated before that you don't really see any issues with and i know springfield they like to continue on they like to continue to push so i'm looking forward to seeing what they do to the prodigy down the road like what's next are we going to get a threaded barrel or are we going to get you know an all metal frame is this is i think yeah this is polymer like right here it stops and then do we get an all metal frame like what are we going to get next because i know they're going to do something new 
especially with this. This is a hot selling item. The Halion, they already did multiple different colors. They did FDE, OD green, and gray. Are they gonna give us some, you know, different Cerakotes? Like, I'm, I'm curious to know what they're gonna do here because they're gonna definitely come back with a V2 version or something down the road. So stay tuned. But definitely one of my favorite in my first 2011. Coming in at number two, and you guys made me feel bad about putting this at a lower rate than the number one that you're gonna see. And that is the P226 X5 Legion. Now, this bad boy right here is a beauty. Okay, now listen, this could be number one. It might end up being number one. The reason why though it was not number one or in the pistols of the top 10 list was because it's a fairly new weapon for me um, as far as me shooting it, okay? I'm well acquainted with the 226. Um, it's definitely one of the top guns I, of all time for me in general. And this has all those things along with it. And the compensator is a little bit different. You know, some people prefer the non-comp. Some people do prefer the comp. It, it, that, that's to each its own. But this gun is uh, spectacular. And in my opinion, when you compare all the components of the pre other guns, like this probably has the best components from the, the pedal, um, the integrated comp, the trigger the metal mags the the, the 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 frame everything about this gun overall is uh upper echelon you feel me so i can understand and this maybe next year i might fix it okay but it's newer newer gun for me in my collection to be shooting but i love it i did not do it i've not done an update yet which i really do need to do like asap rocky um but phenomenal 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 gun a safe queen but it won't be a safe queen but definitely a, a relic of some sort for me at the end of the day but i was able to uh introduce this gun to uh youtube i was one of the first people to review this one so you know salutes and uh sig has been dropping new guns like almost every single goddamn week i don't know what's going on like i, I don't know what the hell that they, they they got a crazy rollout right now they drop a new gun every week every week's a new gun every week's a new gun coming in at number one is the beretta m9a4 yeah, I mean, is the M9A4 better than the 226? No, it probably, no. Is this gun in particular better than that? Some people, no, it probably is not. But this gun meant more to me, you know, uh, achieve, it, achieving it. I've always wanted a Beretta. I've always wanted a M9A3, you know, M9A2. I've always wanted a Beretta in the collection, right? Before I wanted a P226. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better gun, but it's a gun that I wanted more. Some people want a MP5, but they know that MP5 compared to, you know, uh, uh, tons of other guns. I, I don't even want to say it because MP5, <laughs> I think it might be a, be a bad comparison because people will put the MP5 above anything. Let's put it this way. If you're someone that's looking for a more precise gun, a gun that is more accurate, people might love an AK-47 more than a, you know, Mark 18 or a M4A1 or a Mark 12, but we know that the Mark 12 is capable of achieving longer distances or the M4A1, you know, people are gonna have their debates at the end of the day, but you get my point, okay? Uh, I love Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant's my favorite player, but people are gonna say Jordan's better than Kobe. You know, this might be my favorite player, but we know that, you know, in this list, the P226 is the Jordan here. But with that being said, phenomenal gun, um, Beretta killed it, great gun, uh, set it up real nice and dandy. You know, this is just like a, I, I need to shoot it more. Definitely need to do an updated video as well. I love this one because this one can shoot suppress without a Nelson booster also, which is different. I think it's because it has a lot to do with the weight of the gun, the hog grips and all that is amazing as well. The texture, the feel, great overall solid a piece of equipment. Um, salutes to SIG and the M18, M17. Salutes to your SIG, I, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all killing it. I'm just curious, man. Like, damn, they gave this one up right here. It's hard to know that it's hard to know the military picked the M18 over that. Now, like I said, the P320 is amazing. But damn, man, this is a beautiful gun to have on your hip. And it's a reliable gun. It's been well known at the end of the day to uh, you know, to be reliable. But this is my number one. So yeah, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on my list down below in the comment section. I won't take offense to it. I love y'all as always. I appreciate y'all as always. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.